We describe an arthroscopic repair for combined TFCC, lunotriquitral, and ulna carpal ligament complex tears. This procedure is performed under regional anesthesia with a tourniquet and a standard wrist arthroscopy setup. We begin with the radiocarpal joint assessment. A 30 degree 2.4 mm arthroscope is introduced into the 3 4 portal and the probe in a 6 R portal. A probe is used to assess the TFCC status with a trampoline and a hook test. In this case, the patient had a negative hook test but a laxity at the palmar TFCC. One can assess the ulnar carpal ligament complex by hooking the capsule towards the center of the ulnar head. A friable volar ulnar capsule can be appreciated. An atroscopic debridement is then performed using a shaver. A 6U portal is created with a curved hemostat, taking care to avoid damage to the dorsal sensory branch of the ulnar nerve. A passage is then created between the volar capsule and the ulnar neurovascular bundles. One can appreciate the lax ulnar carpal ligament complex and palmar TFCC in this video. At this point, we attempt to identify the ideal area of the first suture retrieval near the volar sigmoid notch region. A 3-0 PDS suture is threaded through a 21-gauge needle and the needle tip is slightly bent to facilitate entry into the palmar TFCC from below. The needle, along with the suture, is then inserted into the 6U portal, passing beneath the TFCC and penetrating through the palmar TFCC closer to the volar sigmoid notch. One end of the suture is retrieved from 6R portal. Subsequently, the needle is then retracted beneath the TFCC and perforates a different section of the palmar TFCC in the same direction, near the styloid recess. The opposite end of the 3O PDS suture is then retrieved from the needle through the 6R portal. The curved hemostat is then inserted into the 6U portal, positioning it volar to the ulnar carpal ligament complex and the volar capsule, following the previously created soft tissue plane, and perforates the capsule to retrieve the first end of the suture. The first end of the suture is reintroduced into the 6R portal to facilitate this suture retrieval process. The suture is then retrieved out of the 6U portal, volar to the capsule. The other end of the 3O PDS suture is directly retrieved from the 6U portal. It is crucial to ensure no soft tissue entrapments within the sutures. This is how the TFCC and the ulnar carpal ligament capsule look like before and after traction of the sutures. This figure illustrates the entire suture configuration, highlighting its reinforcement of the palmar TFCC, the ulnar carpal ligament complex volar ulnar capsule, and indirectly the volar lunotriquitral ligament complex. This is the post-operative rehabilitation program for our patients. Thank you.